to today's video. I'm going to be trying a very new, brand new, like super freaking new. I don't know what I was gonna say. Hi guys and welcome to today's video. I'm going to be making a new recipe and it's going to be a no-bake protein bar recipe. I'm very excited because I am going to use my wellness powder from Teamy. It's like a rich chocolate flavor. Kind of reminds me of like a Hershey's milkshake when I make it into a shake form. But I wanted to see if I could put it into a bar form uh, with some extra fun stuff and see how it turns out. So if you are interested in to see if this is successful or not, because I honestly have never tried it, so like fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, if you're interested, then stay tuned. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and then it lets me know and also it shows me love and I appreciate it. Hey guys, this is VoiceOver Mac here and I am ready to show you this awesome freaking recipe. It was so fast and simple, which is like obviously my favorite part about this recipe. But you're gonna grab your teeny protein powder. I just did one full scoop and it actually comes with the scoop, so it's obviously consistent in that regard. So you're gonna plop that in the food processor. And then the next step is to grab rolled oats. I just have the old fashioned ones. Honestly, I got them at Walmart, so it wasn't like anything fancy, they were on sale. So I did one full cup of that and put that in there. Uh, after that, you're going to blend it and make sure it's like a really smooth consistency. You want it to be that, like not clump. Uh, next step is to grab four tablespoons of uh, coconut oil. I have the Kirkland brand from Costco because I absolutely love Costco. Uh, so you can get it anywhere, but that's where I got mine. And I plopped it in the microwave for a minute and almost burnt my hand. So I highly suggest just 30 seconds or until it's melted. And then after that, I love vanilla. You're gonna plop as much as you want in there. As you can see, I just did like a little bit, you know, for fun. Uh, this is agave syrup, which I wish it was agave nectar. I thought that's what I bought. Agave syrup is actually just like equivalent to sugar. It's really not that good for you. So don't follow this step. Uh, try to get nectar because that is way healthier for you. But you're gonna do one tablespoon of that and a half a cup of nut butter. I actually chose peanut butter because I wanted this like rich chocolate peanut butter flavor, which is exactly how it turned out. You're gonna blend that up again just like that. Uh, I used like the chop setting on there, but I don't think it really matters. And then after that, I just laid out some parchment paper so that I could put it into the freezer. If the mixture is too dry, you can add some like nut butter or water, just like a little bit, like a teaspoon. And then once you get the consistency, add some salt on the top just for some flair, you know? And then plop it in the freezer for about 30 minutes or until it's firm, and that's it. Okay guys, so I was dressed and ready to head out to the fire, but I totally forgot that I put these in the freezer. So I was just gonna break a little piece off to try it to see what they taste like. So sorry if this lighting is crappy, but like we're just gonna, oh, I need to cut it. It is cutting very nice, that is one thing. This is the moment of truth. Oh, do you know what they remind me of? Sorry, I'm talking to my mother across the stairs here. But they remind me of the keto fat bombs. Oh, okay. Put the peanut butter in Honestly, it tastes just like peanut butter. So if you like that, but it's just like chocolate peanut butter. Anyways, they're very good. They kind of melt in your mouth. And I think because of the coconut oil, it has that like taste. It's good though. Honestly, want to try? Will you be on camera? You can do it, mom. You can do it. Mmm, they are very good. I know, I'm excited. Yeah. Okay, well, if you guys want to use them, oh, Bane wants in on the camera action. Okay, so if you want the protein powder, you can use my discount code. I will link it below, um, and it's really good, and honestly, I love it. But it was kind of nice to like mix it up and actually use it in a recipe and know that it didn't like turn out clumpy or weird or like no aftertaste and stuff. So anyways, it's great and it's fantastic. And I'm probably gonna eat more of it. I'm gonna bring it out to the fire. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Really appreciate it and I'll see you in my next video. So next day update, I'm outside trying to do my thumbnail and they're so good so I keep snacking on them and trying to hide the fact that I'm snacking but they're like amazing. Like seriously obsessed with this recipe. We'll definitely make it again. So yeah, success. Thank you.